filed murder one on you for that date rape shooting. Yeah, I would have booked him on 11 counts of rape, sodomy one, Gentlemen, penetration with the four. Can we talk object, about cetera, the present service? It was, it was uh, filmed in a very unusual fashion. And the whole film was filmed in a very unusual fashion. It was shot with the ca two cameras on a remote control unit that just consistently uh, spun around the room. And you'll see Woody and Steve Buscemi and Sigourney Weaver uh, trying to work out how to resolve this situation. And it just, uh, Orrin didn't warn me that this was coming. It just arrived uh, in the cutting room one day as dailies, and I had to try to figure out what to do with it. The law must acknowledge and occasionally accommodate the extraordinary vicissitudes of justice. Judge D.T. Eagleton, 1946. I don't know that quote. It was a, it was a, it was a pretty unusual uh, batch of coverage to receive, and, and uh, uh, you know, we, 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 I tried it a number of different ways. Uh, you know, sometimes you would pick up a line, sometimes you would pick up a nice reaction shot, sometimes you would pick up the wall. I think it kind of works. You know, we shortened it quite a bit. It was much longer. And we, we would have, you know, occasionally when we're cutting the films, we'll have a little friend and family screening, and we'll show it to a small group of friends, and many people were, were, had issues with this. And, and, uh, my assistant from another job came to see it, and she said, I had to look away. It was no, it, I got nauseous. <laughs> I got dizzy. I got dizzy. But, you know, but, but, but we tightened it up. We made it much. It probably ran twice as long in its full, uh, in its full length. Oren also shot. He allowed the actors to improvise wildly, and so they would just, and he would just let the camera go, and they would just continue to talk about it. And then they would start again at the beginning and go through the whole it thing again. It would help if I'd done something wrong. Oh, you've done nothing wrong. Someone planted a camera in my way. Maybe it's you, maybe it's someone smart, definitely smarter than me, because I don't stop to see if there's a photographer nearby when I do the people's dirty work. So but, uh, but I'm fairly happy with it, the way it worked out. It's, I think it's short enough that you can take it and, and, and it does do some sort of, I always thought of it as like, they're never gonna agree on anything. But yeah. I like this idea that they're coming to get him because that's certainly what he, Things. It was kind of fascinating because I think, I mean, I think his, his interest in the piece was always more the character study and James Elroy was much more this intricate, interwoven tale of precinct-wide corruption and what he shot was both and, and, and he thought that they would, they would intermingle. But uh, Elroy wasn't in the cutting room and Oren was and, and so a lot of the plot <laughs> fell away and a lot of the character study remained. Uh, and we had a certain price to pay for that in the end, but it, it all, all's well that ends well. Did you do it? <sighs> I don't live in the past. Is that a yes? Let me rephrase. If you were to have done it, could you tell me why? Some women would love me. <laughs> I don't think that could be the reason. That's too lame. I'm curious why you're so curious. Talk about it this weekend. Let me call. Brown, I have your number. I bet you do. They're a little harder to digest. That you have to work a little harder to to appreciate them. But uh, but yeah, they 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 are they are more ambitious. <laughs>